First, we're going to start off with an apology because the guest that we teased is not going to be the guest that we have today. We don't have a guest at all today. Ben Shapiro canceled on our interview. Well, he he is no stranger to cancel culture. So he jumped to his website, The Daily Wire, and um, added his latest flub to his list of stuff that he has done stupid stuff that he's done you're seeing it on your screen right now okay and just um, before you start just to be clear ben didn't give us a phone call didn't send us a text message no email no tweet nothing we actually one of our fans let us know that this what you're about to read mm-hmm. that's how we found out ben wasn't coming on yes maybe Go ahead. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, well. <laughs> well, we, because. Uh, That's how I found out. Well, here, here's what happened. I'll tell you what happened. I guess okay. it's kind of true. Um, so he says here, so here's a giant list of all the dumb stuff I've ever done. And so flaking on Steven Steven. At the top of this list is my most recent and probably stupidest thing I've done. I promised two upcoming podcasters that I'd go on their show for a civil conversation about free speech. But instead, I stood them up. I was a complete jackass and forgot that they were operating on Western time instead of Eastern. And we told them that we, you know, we said, Hey Ben, I know we're in Florida. I know we're using Eastern time, but, um, you know, we're from, we're from LA. So Mm -hmm. can you please just use, I know you used to be uh, in LA. So let's just use Western time for old time's sake for you. And he said he would do it. So he forgot about that. So he said he showed up to do the interview three hours early. uh, And after, 20 minutes he left. So yeah, he he definitely flubbed up on that. So then he said I wrongly went to Twitter and he called us some pretty some pretty nasty stuff. I you know, it's in that Both article. Of us? Yeah, yeah. He uh the the F word, the new F word, the R word and um you know, the final one that Joe Biden apologized for saying. The N word. Yes. He said that? Hard R. Those tweets, he says, those tweets have since been deleted and we at the Daily Wire have sent Stephen and Stephen, or sorry, Steve and <laughs> Stephen leftist yeah. tears mugs, which we're waiting for. And while we're at it, I wouldn't mind uh, um, the special edition of What is a Woman on Blu-ray that comes with a poster of Matt Walsh in a dress as well as a signed copy of the book. Then we might consider accepting your apology. Yeah, I'm just asking for a big chunk of change, Ben. I want you to be on the podcast, though. So yeah, I'm willing to change my mind. Yes, if, if we you could, we might up. have to have Stephen Crowder on first to change our mind. Then we can have Ben Shapiro on. Mm. Wait, which you can't have a third Stephen, though. Um, yeah, we can't do that. Th- three Stevens is one Stephen too many. It is. That's what I've always said. It truly, truly is. 